Hey, several people had asked for an update on my trailer, so here it goes. It's a Jayco J Flight 26BH, the 2015 model. The exterior of it and the chassis and the wheels and tires and the towing capability of it is fantastic. Uh, I very easily tow it with my crossover. It's a 2010 Chevy Traverse. Uh, I've got no problem at all. I've taken this thing from Dallas Fort Worth all the way into the mountains of Colorado at 10,000 feet. No problem towing it at all. 60 miles an hour, 65. Uh, start to lose a little gas mileage, so it's somewhere between there. Uh, just handled fantastically. The problem I have is the fit and finish. So let's just jump right in and I'll show you some of what's been going on. Um, so literally four trips, maybe 17, 18 days out on the road. And uh, that broke off. I sat back in this seat part of the dining. I sat back in it and I just fell to the floor. This Everything just broke out. Um, there's like 20 screws holding in. That's it. Well, that's not very good quality. That's that's pretty poor. Um, glad I didn't get hurt. At least not too bad. Um, this other one broke as well. I think this has about three screws holding it in. You know, it's the fit and finish. I don't know if a, the Amish got drunk when they built this or what, but you know, it's everything is just falling apart. Um, every t every place I look, there's something that's wrong. You know, this is not even adhesive holding that on in front of that counter. This got water damage underneath because the um, the sealant didn't get applied properly to the back. See how the sealant goes up right there? I have water to get underneath this whole thing, and that swelled when we were in. The hot, it, when we're in a colder climate, that swelled a lot. Being back in Dallas and hot, that's kind of uh, gone down. But that clearly has been damaged from the factory, and they tried to patch that. But that's that's not lined up flush. That's ugly. I mean, I'm going to have to sell this one day. You know, um, I don't know what's going on down here. There's some kind of a leak in the refrigerator. I keep getting problems with the refrigerator, where the gas check is flashing goes on all the time. Um, it seemed like when I was towing it back, it kept coming on repeatedly. So everything started to melt inside. Uh, otherwise, I keep it clean and emptied it out and there's nothing in here to drip. So, you know, they're gonna have to fix that. They're gonna have to fix the problem with the refrigerator, fix the problem with, with the wood. Um, again, there's just more stuff. It's just fit and finish. They just, I mean, there's hardly anything holding that on. I shouldn't be able to do that. I just shouldn't. You know, we got these are just some of the big issues. Um, this seam still bugs me. How anyone would ever accept that as something that was that was quality? I mean, there's nails and stuff coming up from that. There's that's not even level. It's there's a difference of a quarter inch there. You know, there's that's a nail sticking up right out of there. I mean, my kid, my youngest kid, would walk right into that, and that's sharp. That's really, really sharp. You know, this is terrible. These, I, I mean, I wish they did a better job building it. They just didn't. So, um, that's what I got to say about this trailer. Uh, if you're considering getting a Jayco, they they promote their two-year warranty. That doesn't mean anything because you can't get warranty work done on it. Uh, the first place I went told me two months, two months to get the warranty work done. Uh, that was before these other issues popped up. Well, that's getting to be 10% of the entire life of the warranty. That's crazy. So, yeah, they got a two-year warranty, but you're never going to get the work done, and then they're going to do a half-assed job when they finish. Like, I was having problems with these latches. They still don't work well, and the first place I went to, they just stuck a piece of cardboard in there. That's crazy that anyone would think that's acceptable. Fix the entire structure, not just add something to it. And it still doesn't really latch very well. I mean, it's just barely, barely hooked in there. That's not acceptable workmanship. The entire thing needs to be replaced as it was designed from the factory to be um, out on the road. Not this kind, like this hardly works either. These just don't, I mean, it's just not good design. So, if you want to 
to buy a Jayco? I haven't looked over thoroughly before because even though it's got a warranty, it doesn't it doesn't mean anything because they're not going to stand behind it. And you're not going to be able to get it fixed um, unless you want to leave it for six months, you know, somewhere. You know, eh, that's my opinion. Thanks for watching. Happy trails.